This is where Pat and Chuck Potter have been living for the past 12 years. Their house is completely off the electrical grid and only heated by sunlight. They wanted to find a sustainable way of living. The solution was an earth ship. The concept that they could heat and cool themselves by design in a climate similar to ours, we just couldn't believe it. There is no furnace in this house. And we're quite comfortable right now. So middle of the winter, it was 29 below this morning, and we're comfortable. The house, which meets Canadian building codes, is made out of tires, old soda cans, and concrete. The tires are rammed with dirt to make them extremely dense. This density is the key to keeping the house at a comfortable temperature. The basic laws of thermodynamics is if the wall is one degree colder than the room, the wall will absorb that excess heat, okay? If the wall is uh, warmer than the air temperature, the wall gives off the heat and heats the actual house. The other important issue with it, with their ships is you should not insulate under the house as they do in a conventional house because when the sun isn't shining, well, how, how does the house stay warm? It's the heat of the earth that actually heats the house as well. After a tire wall is built, it is coated with concrete and painted over. The soda cans make thinner partition walls. I became an environmental activist because my kids got sick from environmental pollution in two different situations. So I decided that's what I should be doing. To, if I was going to be a good mother and a good grandmother, I had to start protecting the earth. So that's what I do. We don't heat the home with fossil fuels. We don't have to commute to work. We just walk out in the backyard and at my gallery. We grow our own food. We're not transporting food 3,000 miles from Mexico to put on our table. So we have probably reduced our emissions by 80 to 90 percent easily. So we have met and exceeded not only Kyoto Protocol, we have met the United Nations' latest statement that we must reduce our emissions by 90 percent in the next two years. Now the potters are planning to be completely self-sufficient by adding another wing to the house just for growing food. My greenhouse. This is going to be my greenhouse. I'm going to grow vegetables four seasons. That'll Big be time. Glass windows here. Although the main purpose of an earthship is to be environmentally sustainable, the house is also designed to be very affordable. Their two-bedroom house cost them $43,000. That includes costly solar panels that provide a small amount of electricity for lights, a computer, and a small TV. Their lifestyle means they don't need jobs in the traditional sense of the word. The more sustainable we became as we built it, um, the more freedom we found we had. So I'm an, I'm an activist, an environmental activist. What I do is I get involved in environmental issues. Work for the earth. Yeah, we work for the earth. And our employer takes good care of us. So we do well. We're trying to show people that you don't have to be consumers to be happy. You don't have to have a mortgage to own a house, and uh, you can be more self-reliant, you can be free, you can work on what you truly believe in, and be very, very happy. <laughs> People are looking for real things they can do. They're like, how do you really take control of your life? You're caught in this little rat race. How do you escape? And now we just smile and go, this. This is how you escape. This is freedom, and very few people ever experience that in their life.